Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. I hope you all are doing fine, friends. Well, friends, uh, I am today unboxing this uh, one parcel from Goa. He's also my one of my YouTube customers. So let's unbox this one. This has come from Goa. Very nice packing. Okay, this is QSC KS one one two active subwoofer module. So let's check this one. We'll Switch it on. We put the power so the issue will check. Very nice packing. So let's uh, so guys let's check this one. We put it on. So we'll put it on. So there is a power inside. See the fan moves and stop. See there is a power inside. Light is there inside. You can see. So but there is no display. So but power is there inside. See. So this is the problem. So there is no display but power is there inside. And the power light is also not illuminating over here. It should the power light should illuminate over here, but inside power is there. It means power supply is going inside. So we'll put it off and we'll start working on this. See, I put it off. Funny. So we need to check inside what exactly happened. So what we'll do, we'll try to work on this. We need to dismantle this. Okay. This is the power supply section. So now guys we'll check one more step by step. There are two output ICs. Amplifier ICs, the amplifier board, the power supply is the amplifier board. This side is the amplifier board and here is this is the input board. This is the input board. This is the input board completely. So we'll work here. So guys, uh, just we'll disconnect this one. Okay. So it's easy for us to work. So as you know, we have only uh, we have got problem in the input board only. So our power supply section and M section is good because we are getting uh, power supply light indication over here. So it means that our power supply section all voltages perfect uh, so we should just need to concentrate on this board input board so here is our uh, all plus 15 minus 15 voltage so if we just check uh, is any shorting this is as usual ground so i have connected uh, uh, with the body ground so there is no any shorting over here this is the normal one so this is coil so is any shorting over here we'll check this is a MOSFET thing uh, Mm. 
So guys, I am just checking over the connector side. This is wrong. This is three point. I should not get these ohms. See, this is wrong ohms. I should not get. So it means. So it means guys, this IC because here is the main IC. This is is the main IC. Uh, this is another digital converter IC. ADAU one four five zero. This is the main analog analog to digital controller IC. You can say uh, digital signal processing IC. So this IC, you know, it is showing shorting because when I check this PF, see it is showing three one. So it means this PF is connected with this IC. See, I should not get this. Is the problem? So, guys, we need to. Okay, see, all these are showing some shorting over here. See, this PF also showing because this PF also connected with this because this is the. Uh, 1.2 volt and 3.2 volt, uh, volt supply going to this IC, so so it is showing shorting. So because of that also possible. So what we will do? Uh, we'll take it out this uh, IC and check. So we'll prepare to disorder this IC price. Okay, just keep watching my video till end. And so then then only we'll come to know exactly how I am checking step by step. See here is all PF small small PF is connected with this IC. So we need to remove this IC. It looks faulty this IC. That's why our dis no display is coming. Okay. So we will start uh, disordering this IC. Just keep watching my video. Remove this also to solder this one. So guys, we have removed the IC. This is the IC. So we removed. So this is for safety. So we'll just clean this one, guys. So now we'll check uh, before this PF was showing continuity because the supply is going to this IC. See now, now no more. Showing some ohms. Okay, guys. So before it was showing 0 or 3.4 ohms, but now it is not showing. See, so this our IC is faulty. So we'll just clean this one. This PF also was showing before. So now no more. So so our IC is faulty. So we'll replace this IC with the new one now. So first we'll clean.
So guys, we have clean this one. You can see. Okay. So now we'll fix the new IC. So guys, we'll fix the new IC. So this is the new IC. You can see. Okay. This is the old IC. Okay guys, and this is the new IC. So now we're replacing this faulty IC with the new one. And after soldering this one, we put the IC regulator also here because I removed this one because so that it's easy for us to solder this side pin. So that's why I have removed this one. So be careful. So See so guys, we have soldered it properly. See. So this is the perfect way of soldering. So we have replaced this IC with the new one. Okay. So this is the old one IC. This is the digital analog controller IC. You can also call DSP uh, signal processing IC. So this is the faulty IC. So we have replaced zero. Okay guys. So now we'll fix this back. So guys, we will check we have already connected everything. So now we will put it on and check the status. So guys, we will put it on now. I will put it on. See power comes. So it is on. So everything is working. So see, already the power line also come and the display also there okay so guys uh, if you have any comments any suggestions or any inquiry please don't forget to leave any message please keep uh, writing message and comments in my comment box so thank you very much for watching my video guys take care see you very soon next video bye